and Fausto Sterling's Sexing the Body, Gender Politics and the Construction of Sexuality, is a seminal work in the field of gender studies and a critical examination of the ways in which society constructs and enforces notions of sex and gender. In this book, Fausto Sterling challenges the traditional binary understanding of sex and proposes a more nuanced and fluid model that takes into account the complexity of human biology and identity. Through a careful analysis of scientific, medical, and cultural discourses, Fausto Sterling demonstrates how these discourses shape our perceptions of gender and sexuality and, in turn, influence social and political structures. One of the central arguments in the book is that the binary understanding of sex as either male or female oversimplifies the reality of human biology. Fausto Sterling presents evidence from various scientific studies that reveal the existence of intersex individuals, those born with physical characteristics that do not fit neatly into the male or female categories. These individuals challenge the idea that sex is a fixed and immutable trait, highlighting the complexity and diversity of human biology. By shedding light on the existence of intersex individuals, Fausto Sterling calls into question the rigid categories that society has imposed on sex and highlights the need for a more inclusive and flexible understanding. Furthermore, Fausto Sterling explores the role of medical interventions in shaping and enforcing binary notions of sex. She discusses how intersex infants have often been subjected to surgeries and treatments to conform to societal expectations of male or female, often without their informed consent. This medicalization of intersex bodies reflects society's discomfort with ambiguity and difference and reinforces the idea that there are only two valid sexes. Fausto Sterling's analysis of these medical practices raises important ethical questions about bodily autonomy and the medicalization of difference. Fausto Sterling also delves into the ways in which cultural and societal norms influence our understanding of sex and gender. She argues that these norms are deeply ingrained in our language, institutions, and social practices. For example, she examines the ways in which language enforces a binary understanding of gender through the use of gendered pronouns and nouns. This linguistic binary, she argues, reflects and reinforces the social binary that categorizes individuals as either male or female. Moreover, Fausto Sterling discusses how societal norms around sexuality are linked to our understanding of sex and gender. She explores how certain sexual orientations and identities have been pathologized and stigmatized, particularly those that challenge the traditional heterosexual, binary model. By linking these issues to the broader discourse on sex and gender, Fausto Sterling highlights the interconnectedness of these aspects of identity and calls for a more inclusive and accepting society. Throughout the book, Fausto Sterling engages with a wide range of scientific literature and historical examples to support her arguments. She demonstrates how scientific knowledge is not value-neutral but shaped by cultural and social contexts. For instance, she shows how 19th-century sexologists played a pivotal role in constructing and reinforcing binary notions of sex and gender, often relying on biased and unscientific methods. In conclusion, and Fausto Sterling's Sexing the Body, Gender Politics and the Construction of Sexuality, is a thought-provoking and comprehensive examination of how society constructs and enforces ideas of sex and gender. Through a critical analysis of scientific, medical, and cultural discourses, Fausto Sterling challenges the binary understanding of sex and highlights the complexity and diversity of human biology and identity. She also underscores the ethical implications of medical interventions on intersex individuals and the impact of cultural norms on our understanding of sex and gender. Ultimately, 
Fausto Sterling's work calls for a more inclusive and accepting society that embraces the fluidity and diversity of human experience.